We've eaten a lot of halal food today, I tell you that. Just look at this beauty right here. Look at this red chicken. Oh, it smells so good. Got the tangy, you got the cumin in there. This is like a restaurant quality plate of food. Some red sauce, you got some white sauce, yep. you got some bro sauce. <laughs> We love street food in New York City, and there's one that stands out among them all. It's halal food. You see it everywhere. The carts are all over the place. They smell amazing. That rice, the chicken, the lamb. You know, it's not hot dogs, it's halal, but more on that later. We've always wanted to do a halal crawl in a video like this, but there's only one problem. There's just two of us, two stomachs. It's so, so hard. Yes. And all that rice. So, we, we, we need some help. And you may know this guy. This guy's eating some of the worst rated food in New York City. But today we're going to bring him to some of the best. Some of the best halal spots. You can it. And it's Tal from Traveling Class. Hi everybody. Excited to eat some delicious halal food today with Greg and Jumi. Woo! Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Um. So I'm currently hijacking the Food and Food Prints channel. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, don't be stupid. Subscribe to the channel right now. So you don't miss a single video because they're making some awesome content and they're going to be huge YouTubers one day. So you better subscribe right now, ladies and gentlemen. Traveling clap, loved and approved. See you in the next one. Right, so our first stop, right there. Yeah, first stop here. Right there. Right there. Yep. Right. So our first stop today is Royal Grill Halal. Hello, how are you? I bought one chicken masala. Is that all right? Chicken? This one? Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. Look at this beauty right here. Look at this red chicken. It looks so good. We got minimal sauce on this because there's so much flavor in this chicken. We didn't need the white sauce because it's got a little green and we got this special mango pickle. They don't even offer it to you. You got to ask them for it. Look at that. Are you not hungry? I wish we had smell o vision so you could smell this. For real. Mm. This is the Vendy Cup Champions 2018. And I got to tell you one thing here. Uh, I was at the Vendy Cup last year, the Vendy Awards. Helping out friends of ours, Ait Lao Food. Shout out Manila and Kristen out there if you're watching this. Um, and they won, and I was a little surprised. Like I was like, well, you know, we have some other favorites here. You know, I, I tried them out, and I'm like, okay, this is solid. But I, it turns out I ended up ordering the wrong thing. I didn't order the chicken tikka masala. I just ordered chicken over rice. It's a big difference. And that's why it's, it pays to know what to order at each place. I can't stress that enough. All right, let's dig in. There's that red chicken right there. Some that rice. There's even some bell peppers. Some green pepper here, there's tomatoes, onions, there's so much going on in here. This is, this is like a restaurant quality plate of food. <laughs> there's, there's even peas, I see some cumin seeds in here. Damn, this is mm, juicy and tender. The meat alone has that spice. That's why I didn't ask for any hot sauce. There's already spice in here. Got that crunch from the veggies. The mango adds a little tanginess to it too. It brings it all together. You got the spice, you got the tangy, you got the cumin in there. And then let's take a little bit of the rice by itself. Oh, that rice is flavorful. I didn't even eat swallow right away. I just could taste it Good right rice, away. Good rice, huh? Mm. That's bomb. Yeah, we're missing the creamy from the white oh. sauce, but you know what? You don't need it. You don't need white sauce on this. We don't need no white sauce. Mm -hmm. No white sauce. This box of amazingness will run you $7. That is a steal. That is such a deal. Look at that, look at that texture. Look at how delicious that is. Mm. Seven bucks, it really tastes incredible. So we're starting off on a real bang. I'm very excited to see what comes next. So we have the lamb over rice. So this isn't, you, know, you go to a lot of halal carts, the lamb is that processed fake yiddo meat. It has that gray mystery meat block. This one is, uh, this one looks crazy. Yeah. This one looks insanely amazing. This is actual slices of lamb. And we have some tzatziki sauce. It's actually made with yogurt. Quick meal. This one is actually founded 
by a guy who used to work at the Russian Tea Room, a high-end restaurant here in New York City. Fun fact, my pops used to be a waiter there back in the day. And so it only makes sense that he had this high-end, higher-quality halal. And it's still nine bucks, which in the grand scheme of things, ain't that much money. It's better than a lot of meals you're gonna get for triple this price. It's real lamb, no mystery meat here. This is the good stuff, real tzatziki, no BS. That piece right here has got that hot sauce on it. Up All close. Right. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. That's real lamb right there. And the beauty of it, a lot of people don't like lamb. I don't know, they're not my kind of people, I guess. Sorry, <laughs> but a lot of people don't like lamb because there's a gamey flavor. You don't have any of that in here. This just tastes like delicious, tender, flavorful meat. And you have that hot sauce on top. Man, look how much they give you too. You may like, you may scoff for that $9 price tag at first, but look how much lamb they give you here. They're not skimping at all. It's high quality ingredients and it's worth it. You can really taste that yogurt from the tzatziki there. It's like, it's that tang that you want in a tzatziki sauce. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. agree more. People who don't like lamb are not, not my type of people. <laughs> so I first tried this cart. My stepdad put me onto it when he used to work around here. He actually, for the first time, he brought me the salmon. He's like, get the salmon here. I'm like, fish from a cart. But you would believe it with this. That The salmon is excellent. They use high quality ingredients here. You're not gonna get sick. You might be like, fish from a cart. Why the hell would I ever do that? This is a cart you would do that from. You should definitely try it. If you don't eat meat, get the salmon there. It's awesome. But this lamb is the thing to get. If you don't like lamb, eat this. It should change your mind. We are at the Halal Guys. This is the originator of the Halal food in New York City. It started back in the 90s. So it actually started off as a hot dog cart. Then there was a whole market for, you know, people were asking, where can you get Halal food? The taxi drivers was a big market and it really popped off. It became so huge. So now it started from one cart here on 53rd Street, 6th Avenue, Midtown. Now it's a global empire. You have locations all over the US, brick and mortars. There's even locations in the Philippines, it's Indonesia, all over the Canada, world. all over the world now. It's crazy. So let's see how it stacks up to what we have so far and what we're gonna have afterwards. But this is how you know they are a well oiled machine. We got this in like two seconds. I think a NASCAR pit crew couldn't be how fast we got this. <laughs> so we got the chicken over rice. This is the famous halal guys. They gave us some pita with it as well. Now we're gonna put some sauces. We're gonna go classic white sauce, hot sauce. So we got the chicken over rice. This is the most popular street food in New York City is halal. You're gonna find halal carts all over New York City. There's thousands probably over the city in every borough. You got from all over different countries. So the original owners are Egyptian. Now, I don't know, it's a huge corporation, but let's see how this shakes up. It, it started back in the 90s. This is everyone, this is always one of the most iconic places to visit New York City. For better, for worse, we'll tell you in a little while. Let's do this. Other than what I thought. Yeah, but not great. No, definitely not great. Yeah, even the chicken. The chicken is not aggressively spiced. You know, the but the problem is, you know, maybe we had too high of expectations. Some of these other places, they really put a lot of love and quality and care into it. They're putting cumin. They're putting all these other spices on it. Like that royal halal. Look, look how much spice is on the chicken alone. This one, they rely on the sauce. The other ones, they don't. The sauce is complimented. This, you have to have the sauce for it to really be the whole package. So that's the difference. This is better than I remember it being. I remember not liking it at all when I had had it before. It's a little better. I think also the fact that we mixed it together. And maybe the first time I had it, I should have just mixed it. So I don't know if this could really stand on its own two feet by itself. But when you mix the sauce in, it's solid. Just to play devil's advocate for them, I think the average American too probably doesn't want overly seasoned food because the, you know, the average American is usually looking for something that's not Sadly, they're not looking for the most authentic foods. True. Sure. So maybe this is actually the reason why it's so popular is because it's popular with people who live here, you know? They don't want to step out of their comfort zone every time they eat something. Very good point. Especially that this white sauce is heavily mayo-based. Mayo is very popular in America, as we know. Now, the average American, I don't think they handle this hot sauce, even a little bit of it, because damn, it is crazy. It's hot. Hot sauce is, is hot. Woo! Yeah, this, oh my gosh, this, this is, is spicy. Hot it comes on fire. Thank you. Shukra. 
Now it's time for Halal After Dark. We have headed from Manhattan to Queens. We're in Astoria now. We are at a legendary vendor, the King of Falafel and Shawarma. They're Vendi Award winners, 2010 <laughs> Vendi Cup champs. Tal is ready. Because you know why? Because we got the proper stacked shawarma, beef and lamb here. Woo! And they got the falafel. The falafel they gave us samples online. That's what they do here. They're generous. They're incredible. This car is Palestinian. It's founded by the man, the myth, and the legend, Freddie. He's a street food legend here in New York. And yeah, we're going to do this. We just got tahini and hot sauce. No white sauce. Doesn't need it. Let's go. Here we go. Lamb shawarma with a little bit of beef. Yes. Look at that. Oh. So we'll take a bite of this shawarma. Got a little hot sauce here, we got a little tahini here, and we got a little bit of that basmati rice. Let's go. Mmm. Yeah, it is a tad on the drier side. It's the end of the night. The spit is reduced to a tiny little cone, but it's still good flavor. There's one of the few trucks in the city you can get proper shawarma on the spit. Very rare. It's awesome. Ooh, that's the best bite so far right there. Mm. I taste those spices kicking in. Mmm. A little cinnamon in there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Chicken over ice, please. Chicken right there. Oh, there's all that cilantro. Glorious. White sauce, hot sauce, and green sauce, please. This is like running a marathon. <laughs> well, it really is a food marathon tonight, folks. Except you gain 20 pounds during this marathon. You lose losing maybe weight. one. So we are here in Jackson Heights. We are back in our neighborhood. We're here at our favorite halal cart. I'm coming here for well over 10 years. The Vendi Award Champs 2006. Pakistani owned. They got so much flavor here. They got the secret green sauce that we asked for. They don't even ask you if you want it. You have to tell them. So we got that with the hot sauce and the white sauce, chicken over rice. This stuff is so flavorful, so amazing. We could not pick a better place to end than here. Tal is ready to eat. We're ready to eat, even though we're really full, because this stuff's amazing. Doing it. Here we go. Sam, get some with all that in there, the green sauce, red sauce. We got some hot, green yeah. sauce, we got some red sauce, we got some white sauce, yep. we got some bro sauce. Oh, oh, really? so good. <laughs> Been eating this for a long time. Got some thoughts on this here. Uh, what I love about this cart is that the rice is so fragrant. It's got cumin seeds in there, actual cumin seeds, you'll see them. Sometimes you actually find whole cloves. Sometimes you might even find a cinnamon clove in here. That's how fragrant, you can eat this rice on its own, that's how fragrant and good it is. And what we love about it, the chicken is flavorful, juicy, it's fresh all the time. This cart is so popular, they even have Uber Eats and Postmates come in there. It's crazy. How many carts do you know that have the little iPad in there and Uber Eats is showing up? Not many. And they're here till 6 in the morning, late night. They get everybody here in Jackson Heights. You got the cabbies. They've been doing this for a very, very long time. They're so popular, they even have a spot in Manhattan by Washington Square Park. The spot's incredible. What we love too, a lot of the places, I'm talking to you halal guys, you rely on the sauce very heavily. This, everything is so fragrant, so flavorful, the sauce is complimented. You get that creamy white sauce that cools it. You get the spicy red sauce and that green is like refreshing. That cilantro mint kick. Mm. The chicken just tastes Sam's. good. It's incredible. They, everything here works so well. I might be biased because I've loved this forever, but you know what? I'm not because I was so full before I started eating this and I can eat this all night. It's, it's still the favorite for me. Mm. Even after all this tonight, it's solidified. I love it. It's genuinely really good. It's still my favorite. And I think it's just the fact, this is like a classic halal food. like. The other ones I love too, like some of them were, were just so advanced in like different marinades. But this is like a classic halal just done very, very, very well. All right. All right, we did it. All right, we did it. Yeah. Woo. Man, this is something we always wanted to do. We finally did it. We hit a five of the best halal spots in New York City. Yes. Including the famous halal guys. A little overrated, we'll say there. You know, hot take. Not so hot take, but... <laughs> um, we had an amazing night tonight. Thanks to Tal from the Traveling Class Yay! for joining us tonight. Thanks for awesome Thank channel. you, Tal. This guy travels the world. He's been in New York City for a while. He's here just for a little while longer, so we wanted to get a video in with him. He's a great dude. Check him out. Subscribe. 
great dude right here. Man, this is this has been an epic night. Smash that like button on this video, folks. Smash it. Smash it. Subscribe. Subscribe and comment. You want to be the first to comment, right? Yes, you do. But I'll Thanks. probably be the first. I'm going to beat you, too. <laughs> so you gotta try to beat me. Yeah, you got to compete with Tal here. I don't know. He's quick on the drug. Thanks for watching. See you Watch soon. It. Peace. One, two, three, three four. And then we did one more after that. We did five. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Sorry, this is so short. <laughs>